They describe it as the ultimate off-road mobility power scooter. Designed with distinctive looks and extreme off-road capabilities, the Terrain Hopper claims to give you what you always dreamed of. The freedom to go where you thought was inaccessible. This is the Terrain Hopper Overlander 4ZS. They call it the daddy of the family. This is a true four-wheel drive, all-terrain power wheelchair. Terrain Hopper claim there's no challenge too great for this beast. Its rugged construction makes gravel, mud, sand and snow a walk in the park. It's one of a kind. Based in the UK, the Terrain Hopper team manufacture all the parts for the 4ZS right here in this factory. So, after being introduced to the Overlander, I met up with creator Sam Dancy to find out how the whole thing came about. So how did the idea come about? We used to do lots of walking when we first got married. When we had our first son, it tended to die out. So we used to go places but stay in the car because we couldn't take him anywhere. The initial idea was to have it powered so that you don't have to do all the work. But to get over the terrain, um, I had to design a suspension system, which is the, really the backbone of what the terrain hopper is. Brilliant. We had a friend who was disabled. She became disabled after she had a infection which started in a foot and ended up in a spine. And when she saw what he was doing, she says, I wish I had one of those. And the, the strange thing about what we did, we have no disability. The disability, if you want to think of it that way, was the fact that a child is not able to walk as far as an adult. It's an amazing bit of, uh, bit of equipment, so were there any challenges along the way? From day one, we couldn't make a product that's outdoors and not be allowed to go into water. So one of the first problems we had was actually making it waterproof. If, if for instance, the motor is hot and you go into cold water, it would create a vacuum and that could blow your seals. So we put a, a system in there which doesn't allow that to happen. Other challenges, for example, when we first started, we couldn't get the components that I knew existed because the larger companies just wouldn't sell you the components because you're too small. The price you pay for an item is always three or four times more, exaggerated, than what a large company would pay. Because people would look at this and kind of go, oh my God, it's, you know, off-road vehicle, but it is actually technically classified as a mobility yes. aid, isn't it? That's right. And so there, that had its own kind of boundaries and constraints? Any, any product that it's for mobility, it's very difficult to transfer into a normal market. The minute you do, you've got to, the, the disabled customer has to pay VAT. But then if it was in the normal marketplace, the, the cost could be reduced significantly. And in terms of battery life, in your uh, top of the range one, how, how long could a battery last? The maximum battery size we can get about uh, six hours. That's amazing. Um, but we've, we've known people out there all day. It, with me, it would be how quickly I'm using the throttle, oh, because yeah. I think I'd be so tempted to just go everywhere yeah. really, really quickly. Right. I would absolutely love to put one of these through its paces. Is there anywhere you could recommend oh, taking it? Yeah, that'd be no problem. We could go to the beach and you could take, we've, we've got one with monster wheels. Brilliant. And really push them to what you might think is the limits. A mobility aid with monster wheels. Yeah. That sounds incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. <laughs> Having opted for the bespoke version with a tuned up top speed of a massive 15 miles per hour, we were ready to head over to the dog infested sand dunes of nearby Cleethorpes Beach, where I'd be able to reenact the famous buggy scene from 1968's The Thomas Crown Affair. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm no Steve McQueen, but this terrain hopper is pretty amazing to be honest. It handled brilliantly, and the sand was no match for the beefy tyres and raw power of the engine. A 
Hello. I felt in complete control, regardless of the terrain. Right up until the point where I ran out of battery. <laughs> that to be towed away. Nice. Yeah, so this wasn't embarrassing at all. The battery would have lasted longer, but we forgot to charge it. <laughs> oh well. The terrain hopper just gave me full confidence to go wherever I wanted to go. Any adaption that allows me to go more places with my family is just priceless. I was a little bit worried that the speed wasn't actually going to be that high. When you say things like 12 miles an hour, you think that's not very much. But once you're in it and you're going over different obstacles, 12 miles an hour is more than enough speed. What would be brilliant is if more beaches and stately homes and other parks had these for rent. With a machine like this, there's so much that can be done. People can make those trips that they've always wanted to. I've always dreamt of being able to make it to the top of the UK's most famous mountain peaks. With this, I might just be able to. <laughs>